So I'm back again. This is your girl, Jewel and Spot Queen. Um, we're baking cakes, cake layers, and we're gonna make a box cake taste just like a homemade cake. We're not using those ingredients. The only one we're using is egg, so that box is no good. So I have one cup of sugar, which is 200 grams. I have my scale, I've already measured out. We have one cup of flour, which is 120 grams. I measure that because I use a scale when I bake uh, because you can measure one cup and it's not going to be the same as what you put on the scale. It's going to be a little bit more, so you want the accurate, you want the very accurate. We have the cake mix that we're going to use. That's the only thing we're going to use that in the box cake mix. We have the cake mix. We have one cup of whole milk. You can use 2%, 1%, but to make it taste like homemade, one cup of milk, and this is what all, just about 95% of bakers do. We have one cup of sour cream. We have four eggs. We have vanilla, clear vanilla flavor, which I get from Amazon. Then we have the emulsion, the immersion of flavor, a little almond, this is really good. So, we're gonna put the flour in. All your dry ingredients going first. Sugar, flour, the mix. Put the mix in. Put the whole bag in. Get every bit of corn out and make sure you're steady. All right. So then I'm gonna put this on. Let it mix up just a little bit. To incorporate all the dry ingredients. Okay. That's mixing. Then we're going to put one cup of whole milk. We're going to put one cup of sour cream after it's mixed up a little bit more. All right, then we're going to put the sour cream in it. One cup of sour cream. Always put a little extra because you know doing sour cream or anything like this is something's going to stick so you still want to get that one complete whole cup. All right, scrape around there, get that up, get that. Okay, get that little corner right there. I think I've got about all I can get out of there. I'm going to try to get as much as I can off of this spatula. Okay. Put that there, that there. Then we're going to put the beef back down and put it on the six out of the twelve because this is a twelve speed mixer. So I put it on the six is good. That's good. Lift to bowl and scrape. No matter what um, mixer you have, you're going to always have to scrape. Pretty much, I'm not seeing a mold where you don't have to scrape. I have my kitchen aid, I have to scrape that. So, let's do this right here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, right. put it back down. Beat it. You can, beat, you can also beat air into cake mix because it makes it fluffy, it makes it round. But if you are doing a cake from scratch, you don't want to do that because you're going to have a hot mix. Your cake is going to be flat. Nope. Then we're going to add one egg at a time. One. And then we're going to pop my egg so I make sure we don't cook over. Two. Three. Just don't dump my own egg at a time. You want to be incorporated. Three. And four. This 
sure things incorporated because I can't see the bottom so I'm just make sure I get it all. I need all my batter to go in this pan in these pans. Okay, okay. Do this, do this, this. I'm going to beat it one more time and then we're going to be ready to scoop. These three pans. I know you were wondering what these ugly things are. These are baking strips. Believe me, believe me, they make the cake come out even more. So I wet these. They just get them soaking wet, squeeze them out, and just put them around your uh, cake pan. I mean, around your, your cake pan. Then these right here are heating coils. These I got on Amazon, and the heat. When, when that heat touches that nail, it expands and heats the cake even. That's how you get your cakes to be very even. All right, now, we're going to start. Now, this scraping, we're <laughs> This scraping, a lot of people can't stand scraping, but it is what it is. One. Two. Well, it's one and one in each one. There's one cup in each pan. That's why I should be saying it. One cup of batter there. Two cups of batter there. I try not to scrape so bad because some people can't stand the scraping. <laughs> Two back cups of batter. Two cups of batter there. Three cups of batter there. Three cups of batter here. Three cups of batter. Then we might get four cups of batter. I used to measure my batter out on the scale. Ain't nobody got time for that. Four. I'm going get four, okay. Four. Four. Because remember, we added um, a cup of sour cream, a cup, a cup of sugar, a cup of flour, because we want a homemade tasting cake. And had you not done that, had we not done that, I done that, you would have never gotten this much batter. And we didn't need oil because you, you have your fat, your sour cream is your fat. So you didn't need butter or oil because that's your fat. And make sure to get 100% fat when you um, do the sour cream. Not fat free, fat. <laughs> you need your fat in case. Okay, I'm gonna stop scraping. Then I'm gonna take my spatula. This right here, get that all off. And this is the second cake I baked tonight, so we're on our cake road tonight. And we're gonna upload both of them. And I'm doing pound cake the next round, and that's totally gonna be a little bit different than doing a regular layer of cake. All right. So that's all the batter I can get out of there. So get me to get me to put them in the oven for 35 minutes. It's on 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay. I can put all, I have a double oven, but I can put all three layers on this. I have this pan in here that on my other videos I told you all about the reason why is when I bake. I put water in that pan so it will be moist. You can see the water that I put in, that's the water that I put in the pan. Put my cake on like the fourth shelf. I always put your cake midways the shelf. Midways. I'm going to do No, and these will not burn. It won't set your oven on fire, believe me. Put this in here. So like something like that. Okay. So I need to kind of push this back a little bit. Okay, now they're going to bake for... 35 minutes, start, and let this begin. 
See you on the next video. So the cakes have baked in the oven for 35 minutes. So I'm getting ready to take them out. They're a little warm. I flip them over here on um, my saran wrap because I'm going to wrap them up so the moisture stay in them because I'm not going to frost anything until tomorrow. So we're going to flip it. And look how pretty that is. It's done and it's tender and it's soft. It's going to be absolutely delicious. This cake is going to be a pineapple cake. It's going to be a pineapple one. Oh, and it smells like pineapple too. Okay. Then I take another piece of saran wrap. You want to wrap it loosely, not tight. Just loosely. And I put these in the, fr in the refrigerator so I can frost tomorrow. And they look all even. See how even that is? Very even. So, I'm gonna flip them out. Flip. Take the thumbnail out. It smells really good. I told you everything in my house when I'm baking or cooking, everything smells good, and it is good. <laughs> Got this, I'm gonna do one more. Okay, and that's how you do your cakes. And um, I'm gonna come on again with another video of doing pretty much basically the same thing. So we'll see you on the next video.